Hello and welcome to my guide on killing the Chaos Elemental. I've received so many questions about how I got a Dragon Pickaxe on my 10 HP Iron Man, so hopefully by the end of this video you know exactly how it was done. For the bare minimum of this method, you at least need cannonballs and a cannon. However, for increasing efficiency, it's highly recommended that you bring food and high range accuracy items. Also keep in mind that you will be in the wilderness, so bring anything you need to tank with, and also don't bring too much stuff that is valuable. The reason why high range accuracy items are so important is because the cannon accuracy completely relies on the equipment accuracy that you have. This is confirmed by Modash and also the Mythbusters response Reddit thread. The Chaos Elemental has very high defense stats, and because your damage output towards the Chaos Elemental is completely dependent on your equipment stats, it's important to bring out some items that have very high accuracy. Range accuracy is the highest equipment stat that you can possibly get, so it's recommended that you bring out good range gear. Here's a list of common and good range weapons to use. Obviously, the higher range level that you have, the better equipment that you'll be able to use. However, keep in mind that range level does not actually impact your damage output. Only your equipment stat does that. Aside from a high range level so that you can equip high range accuracy gear, a high skill total is also recommended. This is so you can access 1250, 1500, 1750, and 2000 skill total worlds, and so PKers will be less likely to be able to attack you. Also, 40 prayer is recommended, however the Chaos Elemental attacks with both range and mage, but you can have a 50% chance of deflecting the hit by praying one of these. This is a really great setup for one defense pures, uh, however Ranger Boots and Robin Hood Hat would optimize this set, but I wouldn't want to risk those in addition to my Glory and Crystal Bow. But this still has a very high range accuracy of 146, so it's a pretty good setup and also very cheap. All the items are very easy to come by. The best way to get to the Chaos Elemental is to either use a Burning Amulet to get to the Chaos Temple, or to use a Glory to get to Edgeville, and then run to the 13 port, uh, which will teleport you to the 50 port eventually. After that, walk west towards Rogue Castle. Have your eyes on the minimap and your mouse just over the logout button in case there are any PKers around, so you can immediately log out. First, I'm showing you where to place your cannon. It's exactly two steps north of the tree that the Chaos Elemental is normally lured on. Keep in mind that this is not a double hit method, meaning the cannon will only hit the Chaos Elemental once per rotation. If anybody has any way to hit the Chaos Elemental twice and also have a very safe way of reloading the cannon, I would be very appreciative of that and I will remake this guide, uh, but so far I have not found a method to do that. Now for luring the Chaos Elemental. Rogue's Castle is kind of your safe haven for this method. It almost completely protects you from the Chaos Elemental, except in rare occasions where the Chaos Elemental sneaks around that wall. Also, you can go inside this little building here. This will protect you from most PKers, and hopefully you'll have time to log out before they reach you. The luring method is basically just waiting around until the Chaos Elemental is out of sight and cannot attack you while you're trying to place your cannon. You wait until the Chaos Elemental is gone, and then you go to the location two steps north of the tree and place your cannon and fire it. And then you come back inside Rogue's Castle. Once you've placed the cannon and fired it, it's very important to go into the very northern area of that small building. This allows you to lure the Chaos Elemental to a very preferable lure. There are three variations in total that the Chaos Elemental might be lured in. Probably the best one is the one where the Chaos Elemental approaches you to the north of the three trees. The second best variation is where it approaches you from the first and second tree. However, you would have to be right next to tree 1 in order for that to work. The third variation, which is not sustainable, is between tree 2 and tree 3. You'll have to lure it into one of the two other variations in order for you to be able to successfully kill the Chaos Elemental. Here's the northern variation. It's very important for you to be on the very north end of the house in order for the Chaos Elemental to have a higher probability of actually getting past that third tree. After that, go south, into the very southern part of the building. You'll still be able to have the door closed and everything, and PKers will have a hard time reaching you as long as you're paying attention. On that note, some PKers are surprisingly actually quite smart, and they can log in underneath you and kill you that way. So make sure you're paying attention if you've seen any white dots recently. Here's how you reload your cannon with this northern variation. 
For this one, all you have to do is click the cannon, and everything else is done for you. But try not to get in the habit of that, because the southern variation is different. You have to step in a very particular place. Here's how you reload the cannon for the southern variation. Step to the eastern side of the first tree. Do not try to reload your cannon until you've actually arrived to the square. Once you've reloaded your cannon, you're all good to go straight back inside the rogue castle. For the middle variation, if you have 10 hit points, you're going to have to ticky. Otherwise, you're just going to have to get lucky with your prayers. In order to ticky, the NPC needs to think you have lower hit points so it deals the amount of low hit points that you have. Between the time the NPC has quote unquote decided how much damage it's going to give to you and the time that the damage actually gets to you, you can heal up and make sure that the damage that has been calculated will not be your full hit points. Even with 99 thieving, you can fail a rogue pickpocket and get damaged by the rogues. Now that your hit points is lowered, you can approach the east side of that tree. While you're running towards it, if you see something flying towards you, make sure to eat. Sometimes the Chaos Elemental doesn't attack you at all. This might be due to PID or some other mechanic. Now it's in the southern variation, and this is sustainable. You can go back to the inside of the building and just wait until you need to reload your cannon. Those are all three of the variations that the Chaos Elemental could be lured into. However, there are some other important things to go over as well. Last year, Jagex made an update to lots of bosses. They made it so that you can't tank on another account. And this applies to the Chaos Elemental. If anybody else is attacked by the Chaos Elemental, the Chaos Elemental will no longer be able to drop anything towards an Iron Man. So it's very important, in order to not waste any cannonballs, that the Chaos Elemental has died before you attack it. This prevents you from wasting any cannonballs and saves you a lot of time as well. So it's highly recommended for this method that you have an alternative account that you can kill off the first Elemental with. If this is your first trip of the day, it's very likely that somebody has strolled by the Chaos Elemental and been attacked by it. And once that's happened, the Chaos Elemental will not drop anything towards Iron Man. So, as I said, an alternative account with members is very helpful in this situation and can kill off the first Chaos Elemental and allow you to actually get uh, drops from the future ones. Keep in mind, while you are attacking the Chaos Elemental, any loots that you get will be voided if somebody comes by and is attacked. This wastes a lot of time and cannibals. So if somebody is in a position where they could step out of some range or behind a tree or something and get attacked by the Chaos Elemental, Try to convince them to not do that, uh, because that will just waste a lot of your cannonballs that you've been attacking the Chaos Elemental with. If you do ever die to the Chaos Elemental or another NPC for whatever reason, you can go back and loot your stuff and everything will be normal, it's just a waste of time. Hopefully between the time that you have died and you get back to the Chaos Elemental, nobody has been attacked by it. The only reason you should be picking up your cannon is to replace it on the ground after a Chaos Elemental kill, in which case you should be looking on that minimap to make sure nobody is around while you pick up your cannon, because you don't want to risk those valuable pieces. The only other reason why you should be picking up your cannon is to actually leave the area, but if you want to play it very, very safely, you can just leave your cannon there, and then you can pick it back up atop the Dwarven Mine. Here's a demonstration of me getting my Chaos Elemental loot, replacing the cannon, going back into safety into the northern part of the building, and waiting for the Chaos Elemental to get hit, and then going to the southern part of the building for this northern variation. Keep in mind that the Chaos Elemental takes 60 seconds to spawn, so it's important you do all these things within this time frame. You should only have to reload your cannon once or twice per kill. With the range accuracy of 146, I was using about 60 cannonballs per kill on average. So per trip, you might want to consider bringing out perhaps 360 to 600 cannonballs in order to do 6 to 10 kills. Again, you don't want to risk too many cannonballs or too much expensive gear. That's about it for this guide. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have in the comments. If anybody figures out a safe double hit method, that would be really sweet and I'd appreciate any images of that sent to my Twitter. If you want a guide for any other method, 10 HP or otherwise, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to make it for you. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.